Dobrodan from Belgrade in Serbia. What you can see behind me is the Prince Bar. This has got to be my favourite bar in Belgrade. It's definitely like an English pub. You get some great beer in there and great characters also. It's run by a guy called Milan who's a top, top bloke. If you're in Belgrade and you fancy a quick beer or rakia, get yourself down to Prince's Bar. What I'm doing now, I'm making my way down to Skardalia. I think I say, say Skardalia. This is a bohemian area of Belgrade. You've had artists, musicians, poets that have lived here in the past. There's also poems about this place as well. I really dig this place. Okay, first thing that's caught my eye is this drink selection here. I need to partake in this, definitely. Hello, what's your name? Milica. Milica? Yes. Pleased to meet you. So you've got Raki here then, I take yes. it, yeah? This is Queens. Yeah. Honey. Yeah. Juniper. Yeah. Rice, okay. What what do you recommend? Uh, raspberry, queens and plum. <laughs> three? <laughs> I've been recommending three shots. That's pretty hardcore. I may just have to do this. Okay, go on then. Uh, which which should we go for first? Uh, raspberry maybe? Maybe plum. Plum, plum. Okay, go for plum. Which one's that? Is that... Which one's the plum one? Oh. Uh, this one. Oh, this one here. Okay. So this is one of your specialities here then? Yes. <laughs> okay. This will get me drunk, yes? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there you go, plum rakia. I know how strong this rakia is, so I'm gonna have to pace myself, I think. Okay, let's give this a whirl. You're supposed to sip it, yeah? You're not yes. supposed to, yeah, it's not like a shot. Yeah, I've learned from drinking these like a shot. It really does get you drunk. Okay, let's give it a go. Very smooth, really like that. That's really nice, good recommendation, thanks for that. Um, so you say next one, the raspberry, and what was the other one? Uh, Queens. The Queens, okay. Queens also nice. Okay, cool. Right, so I'm just gonna finish this one off and then we'll go for the next one. Cheers, or Javelli. Okay, this place here, this is called Zadriga. I think that's correct, yes? yes. Zadriga, yes. It means in English for friend. So, yeah, get yourself down to here and try these great drinks. Right, next up, we're going for the Quins. Never tried the Quins before, so this should be interesting. There we go, the Quins. I can feel the hangover tomorrow already. I was just saying to the lovely Melitza, this is my kind of vlog. I could do this every day, if only. Okay, let's give the Quins a go. Again, very smooth. I've been told before a good rakia should burn in the belly, not in the throat. And this is doing exactly that, it's burning the belly. This is great, really like this Quinn's, highly recommend. This is pouring the raspberry now. She just told me this is great based rakia. So never tried raspberry, can't even, can't even talk, all, the, all these drinks. Yeah, I've never tried raspberry rakia, so this is gonna be interesting. Okay, raspberry, <laughs> okay, Raspberry Rakia, let's give it a go. Wow, that, that is so easy to drink. I'll tell you what, this, this, we have something in England called squash. It's like a fruit kind of a drink where you add water, really easy drinking. And this drink is pretty dangerous because you could drink this all day long. And I'll tell you what, the hangover the next day, I reckon, would be insane. This is so good. Absolutely love it. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do now is go down the cobble strip of Skardalia. Probably crawl down there. But I've got to say thanks to Melitza and this place is called, like I say, Zadrugo. Get yourself down here and you will have a blast. Love this place. Cheers. <laughs> okay, I'm just making my way down to Skardalia now. You can see the pavement. All these stones, it's like cobbled streets, looks pretty similar to England. I've seen this in Istanbul as well. There's an Ottoman feel to this. Really cool places to eat Serbian food. I've been here before, Shezi Moy. Highly recommend this place. How are you doing, you right? Here you've got a cool gallery. Loads of artwork in there, I don't know if you can see. It's shut at the moment. Probably due to coronavirus. I don't know. Mm. 
moving around, you've got a character here, sat on a rock. I don't know who this is, you can let me know in the comments. But yeah, really like the feel to this place. It's a nice little hut. Yeah, this cobbled street is cool. Oh, you got another statue here. Dig it. It's only a very small street, doesn't go on for long. Really like the artwork on those buildings there. Really like the vibe of this place. Very bohemian. Check this car out. This looks like an old Mini. I used to have a car similar back in the day. The Beatles used to drive uh, this style of car and also Mark Boland from T-Rex. Yeah, very Mini looking. I need this car to help me get round Belgrade. Make life a lot easier. Really groovy. There you go, you got a hotel called Bohemian. Yeah, but the artwork on here, absolute quality. Read the lot of this street. Yeah, if you're looking to try some Serbian traditional food, then Skardalia, Skardalia is the place. Got loads of cafes around here, and you got the odd bar around as well, which is also good for my racky uptake. And here you go, this is the end of Skardalia. You got the market over there, which I've done a video also. Go and check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah, definitely check this place out. In the summertime, it's supposed to be rocking. I can believe that. Also, come up to a good little bar as well. Highly recommend this place. I've had many Iraqi in there. Really old school Serbian traditional. Love it. Okay, I'm leaving the Skardalia area now. I'm going to Dorchol. This is another one of my favourite places. Loads of cool cafes, bars and restaurants dotted around here as well. I really do recommend this place if it's in Belgrade. Even Diego's in Belgrade. What a legend. What you can see behind me is also one of my favourite haunts in Dorchol. It's called the Blazvanak pub or the Blazvanac, one of the two. Got some real quirky things in here. Really like this place. Let's have a little look. Some nice artwork on the walls there. And you got some big elephant hanging from a tree. Very quirky. Post on the wall. Another rakia. This is going to be a messy day. Giovelli. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, the Blaznovac bar. Get yourself down here. Very quirky, very cool. Top place. Okay, stay in the Dorchal area. I'm off to a place called Dorchal Platz. One of my friends told me about this place, a place called Gvint. They do craft beer here, which I've heard is really good, so I'm excited to try this. Love this scooter. 
very mod. There you go, the Gwent Brewery. Okay, I'm inside Gwent and they do craft lager, which I'm really happy about because I'm a lager man, not craft beer. Yeah, I love my lager, so I'm in heaven right now. I don't know if you can see behind me, but you've got some tanks over here. And it's all full of lager, which they brew here. So yeah, this is the place for me. I'm absolutely ecstatic to be here. Here's all the lagers they've got. They've got Irish Red Lager, a Svetlo Pivo, and they've also got a Lemon Shandy, India Pale Lager, Dark Lager, a Wispier, that sounds a bit German, and a Premium Lager. I've been told to go for the Red Lager, that's a good one. Uh, there's a lady here, she's from England, which, you know, we're everywhere. So I'm gonna go with that one, let's try that. Okay, the Irish Red Lager coming up. Going for a small one. Obviously, we've been drinking lots of rakia today, so mixing the rakia and the lager could be a problem. Okay, I've got it wrong. It's a mixture of beer and lagers, not just lagers. So, yeah, I think it's all the rakia I've drunk today, but yeah, there's a mixture of craft lagers and beers here. This is the Irish Red, which I was recommended, and this is a beer, so let's give this a go. That is a really good drop. Really do like that. Definite orange flavour to it. I'm glad I found this place. I'm absolutely buzzing to be here, I tell ya. I've been told also this beer is called Orthodox Celt Lager, and that's the name of an Irish Serbian band here. I suggest you check them out. They're the most Irish band I've ever seen in my life. Really good band. Apparently there's 18 tonnes of lager and beer in there. That'll last me a nice. <laughs> Gavint apparently has been around for three years. I wish we had something like this back in England because I'd be here every day, guaranteed. Okay, now I've got my hands on the premium lager. I'm excited to try this. Let's give it a go. Right, I'm gonna have to take a tank of that home with me. That is the amber nectar. Really, really good. So crisp, so smooth, absolutely love it. Gavint premium lager, get yourself some. Superb. Okay, that was Gvinz Lager and Craft Beer Bar in Dorchel Platz. I highly recommend you get yourself down to here. A great atmosphere and great quality lagers and beers. Absolutely love this place. Right, I'm making my way back to my Airbnb apartment now. Splash my face full of water to wake myself up. There's still two hours drinking time left, so best hurry. If you like this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. And also leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Giovelli.